Hey, what's going on guys? Buffalo Gamer 77 here. And today's video, we're gonna do an unboxing of the Ardo Technica LP120 USB, uh, which I know is not game related, but for me it is because I do have some video game soundtracks on vinyl. Uh, this one here is Streets of Rage 3 by Data Discs. I do have Castlevania for Nintendo, uh, which is one of, my, one of my favorite games of all time. And a unboxing video I did this before about two months ago for Metal Slug, also by Data Discs. Uh, so right now I have three records, and they're all video game soundtracks. And when I bought them, I did not have a record player. So I bought this one. Now the reason why I bought this one, uh, is a few reasons why. Um, I was, at the time I, I bought the records, I was looking into getting a record player and I was looking into the Techniques 1200, which is a record player for DJs. Now DJs use that record player and, and that record player holds its value because it's very versatile and it's very uh, hardy and durable. Uh, so that record player sells for about five to $700, uh, which is a lot, I cannot afford that. Uh, so I looked up comparisons and alternatives for it and this one came up as a possible alternative for it. Uh, which retail price is $299 for this one. Uh, there is a lower model, uh, the ATLP60, uh, which I'm not sure the difference is, but uh, yeah, I came across a coupon code on eBay for 15% off about a week and a half ago. And at first I was looking for video games, and then I started thinking bigger than that, where I could save the most money. And I figured I'd check out some sites for this record player. I came across Best Buy's site, because Best Buy is a good, good company and I uh, added to the cart, put the coupon code in there, and I noticed that Best Buy charged taxes on eBay's page. I decided to cancel that, take it out of the cart, and look, look for more, more stores on eBay. I came across Buy Digs, or Buy Digs site, and the price on there was $299, and also came with some freebies. I'll show you those in a second. I added to the cart, and it, I noticed that they didn't charge tax or shipping. So, I found, all the, I found the freebies that I wanted to add and added them. So I figured these, these were the best ones I, out of the ones that I saw. Uh, this is a vinyl record cleaner. Comes with some solution, a brush, and something else. I'm not sure what it is. And this is a Bluetooth adapter. And it came with these headphones. Now, the headphones feel real light, so I don't expect too much out of it. So it was free, I'm not gonna complain about it. Let's see, now to the record player here. Uh, it does, does play 33s, 45s, 78s. Does have a direct drive high torque motor. Uh, let's see, it is aluminum right here. It's all aluminum. Uh, let's see, it does have directions. You can go forward or backward up with it. Uh, let's see, compatible with your computer. So now you could you save your, your records or your vinyls onto your computer. Uh, via it's, it's, you know, the USB port on the back here. Uh, you can save uh, as a digital file on the PC or Mac. So it's both compatible, which is really good. It came with a CD somewhere. I don't know where it is off this, right this second. Uh, but it came with a CD that has a software on there. I think it's called Audio City, Audio, 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 or Audio City, the software is called. I uh, read it briefly before I did, I did the video. Uh, let's see. So let's take a look at it. This right here is the dust cover for it, so it doesn't get dusty inside. In the middle there, it does say Audio Technica. Let's put that to the side for now. This is the slip mat right here. And I believe this is the aluminum plater. And I'll show you guys the record player itself. It's pretty heavy, so I can see this being pretty durable. So if you want to pause the video there and get a good look at it, it's pretty heavy. So I can definitely see this standing up for a long time. Uh, also, used, I saw this being sold for 220, 220 and 240 ish. Uh, so it's going to hold its value, I think. 
Now I'm not too familiar with record players, so this is my first one. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to get, get it set up here. Over here is the stylus, cartridge, or needle, if you want to call it that. And some other pieces here that I'm not too familiar with. Uh, but I'll figure it out. It came with instruction manual. Should be pretty simple to figure it out. Um, yeah, so can't wait to get it started and set up here. I do have some speakers that uh, I'm not using right now. I have some Polk tower speakers that I used to use for my home entertainment system and I have different ones now. So uh, this is my second piece of Audio Technica equipment. I do have these headphones here. Uh, these are the, let's see, ATH M50s. Now these headphones, I had two pairs of headphones. I did have a pair of soles. Uh, soles didn't noise cancel out around you. Uh, they were pretty cool. Uh, battery operated. Sometimes I'll leave the battery on or leave it on and the battery would die overnight. Uh, these ones work very well. Uh, I did see some mods people did to them that, you know, that, that, that uh, websites are selling them. That the cable is detachable and also turned into wireless Bluetooth, which is really good. Uh, mine are just the normal standard ones that came from Oil Technica. I did come across a coupon back then for them too, and uh, these these used to resell for about 120, 140, and I paid about 80 or 90 dollars for them. Uh, so if you're interested in getting some good quality headphones, uh, these are definitely good ones. All right, guys. Well, this is my unboxing of the Audio Technica LP120 USB. Please comment below if you have the record player and, and tell me your opinions on it. I did read some Amazon reviews, and they seemed pretty positive. All right, guys, thanks for watching my video, my channel. I appreciate all your support. You guys have a good night.